Hi guys, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike and in this video I'm going to give you my honest Tune Wasserträger 2.0 review. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also have a Facebook group for like-minded people who are into bike restorations and you're welcome to join that group with the help of the link in the description below. It's a carbon bottle cage where the bolts weigh over half the weight of the bottle cage for a total of 14 grams and the bottle cage itself is nine grams. I paid 48 euros and 80 cents, which is more than 56 United States dollars, excluding shipping costs. So the main question is why on earth would you spend that kind of money on something that besides the minimal weight gain and aesthetics offers nothing else in terms of functionality. Some people buy an entire bike for that kind of money. So first off, let's get one thing out of the way and that's the following. The Thun Wasserträger 2.0 is a really good bottle cage that does its job near perfect. The bottle cage comes with two rubbers that are kept into place with two bolts. And these rubbers make sure your water bottle stays where it should be because carbon doesn't give much in any way and can provide stretch as with classic aluminum bottle cages. I lost one of the rubbers really quickly, probably when I removed the water bottle while riding. And this wasn't a big deal because two provided too much grip anyway, but that's something to keep in mind. I also believe that nine grams is one of the lightest bottle cages in the world. So as far as weight gain with the help of a bottle cage is concerned, this one scores an A+. The bottle case is very well engineered with a small curve in the top lip that helps getting your water bottle in without losing much grip. And after a lot of use, it hardly shows any signs of wear. I got a comment on my video about full carbon saddles asking me why I would put a $400 saddle on a cheap bike. And apart from the fact that a bike isn't as cheap as it used to be, aided among others by this expensive bottle cage, I made a decision to spend more money on less bikes in general. My goal wasn't to have the cheapest tool to hold my water bottle. If that was the case, it would simply keep the bottle cage I already had. I had a lot of fun researching what carbon bottle cages were out there and why you would choose one over the other. And I settled for this one to be able to add one more piece of carbon to my retro build, which makes it look even more awesome in my opinion. The Tune Wasserträger 2.0 suits this bike very well and completes the picture I wanted to create. I've bought more standard black aluminum to peak shuttle cages for my Super V because that's what suits that bike better. So this bottle cage does what it needs to do very well and in style and whether it's worth the price is up for debate but always dependent on your personal goal. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to consider joining the Facebook group and I hope I can welcome you again for the next video as well. Bye for now.